With Beam Gen 2, you can bring your music and movies to life with clear dialogue, rich bass, and the 3D effect of Dolby Atmos. In this video, we're going to guide you through how to set up your soundbar in just a few minutes. Before we get started, you're going to need a few things. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi, then download the Sonos app on your mobile device or tablet. You can find it in the App Store or Google Play. Next, place your soundbar under your TV on a media stand or secure it to the wall using a custom Sonos wall mount. Just make sure there's nothing blocking the top or sides of the speaker. Otherwise, you won't be able to experience your Dolby Atmos content to its full potential. Find the power cable and HDMI cord provided inside the box. Make sure your TV is on, then plug in the power cable and HDMI cord to Beam, then connect the HDMI cable to your TV. If your TV does not have an HDMI ARC or eARC port, use the optical adapter also provided in the box. Once you've connected the cables to the power and your TV, open the Sonos app to get started. Sign in or create your account. After you're signed in, the app will automatically search for your speaker. When your speaker is ready to be set up, you'll hear a chime and the status light will start flashing green. Press the button on the back of Beam when you're prompted. This connects the app to the speaker and then connects the speaker to your Wi-Fi network. Next, select the room where you placed your speaker. There are several preset options, but you can also customize your room names. Let's call this one Living Room. After that, TruePlay tunes your speaker to your space. This technology analyzes the unique acoustics of the room and optimizes the speaker's EQ, so all your content sounds just the way it should. If you've connected your soundbar via HDMI ARC, your TV remote will automatically sync with your speaker for easy volume control. If you have rear speakers, like a pair of Aero 100 speakers, you can wirelessly connect them to Beam for surround sound. We recommend placing them on either side of your couch using custom Sonos stands, mounts, or placed on your furniture. Once you have your surround speakers where you want them, make sure you add both speakers to your system as separate rooms. Tap Settings, then tap System, and select Setup Surrounds. The app will guide you through the rest. To pair a subwoofer, visit Settings and tap the room where you set up Beam. Tap Add Sub and follow the prompts to finish adding sub to your system. After you've set up Beam and paired any additional speakers, you can further adjust the EQ to your liking for the perfect home theater experience. Beam also features unique TV settings to improve your viewing experience. You can find these in the Sonos app by tapping the Now Playing screen. Turn on speech enhancement for even clearer dialogue. This is especially helpful when characters whisper. Use night sound to reduce the intensity of loud sound effects so you don't disturb others if you're watching late at night. You can turn on and off these settings device-free using Sonos Voice Control. For more hands-free help, connect a voice assistant like Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. And just like that, you're ready to immerse yourself in your favorite shows, movies, and music. For more information on getting started with Beam, tap the link in the description to learn more.